In this video, I'm going to briefly define the field of statistics. So statistics is a pretty vast academic subdiscipline of mathematics. Uh, it's, a, it's a branch of applied mathematics, which uh, researchers and scientists use uh, to answer questions about data and to test hypotheses about data. Uh, so it involves, I mean, there's various ways to to define statistics, there's various sub-branches of statistics that involve analyzing data in different ways, but it involves uh, various components um, that that any sub-discipline or, or of statistics might address, and those are data collection or sampling, so how a researcher or scientist goes about collecting their data, uh, the analysis of the data based on mathematical formulas or principles, so how the, the data are actually analyzed, how that analysis is interpreted, and best practices for reporting the results in the form of either uh, text, graphs, tables, or other forms of data visualization. Uh, so statistics has become a really important part of science in the last 100 years or so because it's basically a tool that scientists use to answer questions about their data. So psychologists who are researchers will be very likely to use statistics on a regular basis. Psychologists who are applied psychologists like clinical psychologists or organizational psychologists need to have enough understanding of statistics in order to have an effective evidence-based practice. It's hard to evaluate evidence if you're not able to have at least a basic understanding of statistics. Uh, so statistics is really important for research psychologists, it's pretty important for applied psychologists, and in my view it's important to have some knowledge of statistics in order to be an effective member of democratic society. So people who don't understand statistics are probably more likely to be fooled by false claims or uh, bad statistics. Uh, so having some knowledge of statistics, I think, in a sense, makes you a better participant in democratic society. Uh, there's numerous ways, as I've mentioned, to, to, to subdivide the field of statistics, and we're not going to get into all of those uh, now in this brief mini lecture, but I just want to mention that there are descriptive statistics, and these are statistics that basically summarize the data at hand. You've encountered these already. Uh, statistics like the mean and the median would be considered some pretty basic and straightforward descriptive statistics. Uh, descriptive statistics are important, in, especially in the early phases of data analysis, to get to know your data well enough before uh, you might move on to what are called inferential statistics. Now, inferential statistics are used to uh, examine patterns or relationships among variables in a sample in the hopes of generalizing those results to the population. So you're trying to infer results in the population based on the data that's collected from a sample. And whether or not you really can do that depends on a number of things, but most importantly, how representative the sample you have of you have is of the population. Uh, so just just to reiterate, statistics are used in practically every scientific discipline as a tool to analyze data and test hypotheses. So statistics in the past hundred years or so has become increasingly important. And with advances in computer technology, most scientists have access to statistical software that allows them to do analyses which in, in the past might have taken hours or days to compute and now can take less than a second to compute once the, once the data are set up and entered. So welcome to the course and I hope you enjoy learning about statistics or at least find it a, as a useful tool for yourself moving forward.